good. It does sound good. <laughs> we have to make it through election day first, yes. and, and that's tomorrow. And it is a weather impact day because of rain and wind. We just want to make sure you're aware that as you go to the polls, there will be a few showers around early in the morning. A dry break expected middle part of the day ahead of a line of gusty rain and potential storms during the late afternoon, early evening hours. So just stick with us. We'll continue to keep you updated, but wanted to make you aware of that weather impact day tomorrow. We are expecting 76 degrees tomorrow afternoon. If we get there, that would be the third warmest election day on record. The warmest back in 2003 with a high of 70. 78 made it to 70 this afternoon. Record high is 78 set back in 2003. Our low this morning was 63 and that's actually record warmth for a low temperature. Averages are 57 and 39 fell back yesterday. So that sunset this evening is at 539. Mainly cloudy sky over downtown 66 degrees. A south wind at seven It's going to stay very mild overnight and into the early part of tomorrow. Did pick up two tenths of an inch of rain so far at the airport in Indianapolis with some of the higher totals north and west. And that's where we find some of the steadiest rain right now from Terre Haute over toward Brazil into Greencastle, Rockville, Crawfordsville. So it's wet along 231 in between Crawfordsville and Greencastle. We have rain in the Lebanon area covering the northwestern sections of Hamilton County and some showers Brownsburg just to your southwest. Also raining in Fairmount, Gas City into Elwood and Atlanta. A few showers around Monticello as well. So keep in mind the rain will continue off and on this evening. We do expect some dry breaks overnight. Early part of tomorrow. This is as the polls open Tuesday 6 a.m. A couple spotty showers around. Here comes that dry break expected midday. Here comes that line of rain, wind and maybe some embedded thunderstorms between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. into the western part of the state between 6 p.m. and about 8, 9 o'clock tomorrow evening into the eastern part of the state. Stick with us. We'll keep you updated on that rain behind it. We do cool back down into the 60s with some sunshine on Wednesday. 76 tomorrow. We are expecting the rain, a few showers in the morning, and then those gusty storms possible in the afternoon. 65 Wednesday, 61 Thursday, 64 Friday, and 65 Saturday. It's 547 this Monday afternoon, this Monday evening rather, mm -hmm. and we are tracking weather here. Yes, uh, not going to be so picture perfect for Election Day, is it? No, grab the umbrella just mm -hmm. in case you have to stand in line and that line is outside. Mm -hmm. A few showers in the morning and some heavier rain in the afternoon. I do think uh, the prime time to vote if you don't want to get wet will be around lunchtime. Grab that okay. umbrella. We don't want any any <laughs> deterrence. No, no, and it, you'll be just fine. I promise you, you won't, won't melt. melt. <laughs> That, that I can promise you won't melt. Uh, we do have some election day showers in the forecast. As I mentioned, as the polls open a few around, then some dry hours in the middle ahead of some rain and maybe some gusty thunderstorms developing during the afternoon and evening hours. We have 76 degrees in the forecast for tomorrow afternoon. That's unseasonably warm. And if we get to 76, that would put us tied for third on record in terms of warm election days. It was warm today, 70 degrees this afternoon. Our morning low temperature was not low. It was a record warm low for this time of year at 63. That's warmer than our average high, which is now at 57. We did pick up two tenths of an inch of rain in Indianapolis uh, sunset this evening. Well, we fell back, so it's already happened. It happened at 539. Oh, but a pretty sky over downtown right now. 66 degrees in Indianapolis. We have a south wind at 7. Getting some breaks from the rain. Indianapolis east and south still have that steady rain falling to the north and west. We go west along I-70. You can see the steadier rain from Terre Haute to Brazil. Moving toward Greencastle, Rockville, Crawfordsville, the Lebanon area. You still have another hour or so or more of rain. This this extends up to the north and east into Marion and Gas City, south to Alexandria and Frankton. Future Track 13 showing that 
focus of rain for the next couple of hours, mainly north and west. A few showers around as the polls open at 6 a.m. Here comes your dry break middle part of the day. That's noon. Here comes the line of gusty thunderstorms entering the western part of the state between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. into the central part of the state between 5 p.m. and 6 p.m. and then off to the east as we head into the mid evening hours. This is 9 p.m. on Tuesday. The rain will continue to fall for a few hours before we clear things out on Wednesday. Wednesday high temperatures do fall back into the 60s with some sunshine. We'll clear it out on Wednesday 65 sunny and 61 on Thursday. More sunshine Friday 64. Right now we have Saturday dry with our next rain chance after tomorrow on Sunday. Yes. <laughs> uh, and we, then we got the election. And I that's know. kind of a big looming feeling too. It is. <laughs> and we're going to start with that election day forecast. It's a weather impact day for us because of rain and wind. When polls open at 6 a.m., we expect some showers, then some dry time the middle part of the day. But check out those winds south 20 to 25 miles per hour most of the day with some higher gusts and the potential of a line of heavy rain and gusty thunderstorms late afternoon or early evening 70 today 63 this morning that is not a low for this time of year that is typical in fact it's a record warm low for this date averages are 57 and 39 and so far we've picked up about a quarter of an inch of rain at the airport in Indianapolis some dry breaks over downtown now still mainly cloudy and 66 a south wind at 7 this is live Doppler 13 radar over the last couple of hours movement of the steadiest rain from southwest to northeast but it is lifting north heavy rain right now between Rockville and Brazil moving northeast toward Crawfordsville and Greencastle Lebanon. We still have some rain in north and east still raining in Tipton and in Alexandria. This will eventually live far enough north that we'd get a bit of dry time overnight ahead of those showers around six o'clock tomorrow morning when the polls open. We'll be tracking that for you. Here comes your dry time. The middle part of the day that was noon four o'clock tomorrow afternoon line of heavy rain and gusty thunderstorms possible. This will move from west to east between 4 p.m. and 9 p.m. tomorrow, and we'll still have some lingering showers tomorrow night at 11 o'clock. This all moves out and skies clear on Wednesday. Temperatures will fall back into the 60s. 76 degrees, that would be third warmest on record for an election day, and that's what we have in the forecast. Morning rain and then some late day heavy rain and wind. 65 on Wednesday with clearing skies. We're in the low to mid 60s and dry through the start of the weekend.